Welcome to Mackenzie's flat picnic area. Here I am and I plan to go somewhere in this direction and back in one piece. All right, off we go. Oh my gosh, the first thing I notice about this place, it is very calm. We have a nice little creek to the left here and the water sounds are just amazing. I noticed that there were two other cars in the car park, so we may or may not bump into people, but um, otherwise it looks pretty quiet. I did read that uh, it can get wet here, and uh, I have a feeling that this is the reason why, but we're going to give it a shot and try not to slip in. Here we go. First rock, second rock, oh god, how are we going to do this, my lord, do I step on the, <laughs> the big wet rock and potentially fall over here, oh my gosh, here we go, oh, 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 that one's wobbly, Okay, here we go, we're doing it. Woohoo! Woo Did that give you anxiety? Oh. Okay, here's a bit of the creek. Alright, time to go the rest of the way. Here we go. It almost looks like they've actually put things like stones here to walk on, which is kind of interesting. We did it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Amazing. For those of you who are new or don't know, my old high school friends and I, we decided to give each other a challenge. Something that we wouldn't normally do on our own. And uh, my challenge was to go on a hike on my own. Not take the dog. Of course they did tell me to be careful because you never know who you can bump into. Man or bears nowadays, as the trend seems to be. Originally I did say last week that I was gonna go to Hanging Rock, but then I found out that they have like a $10 parking fee there or something. And I was like, ah. I'm unemployed man, I'm looking for somewhere to hike that's free and so I had a look around and this place wasn't too far from home. It was still a bit of a drive to get here but it looked really nice so I thought why not give this place a shot. I couldn't tell you the name of the trail to save my life <laughs> so I'll probably just put it up on the screen. But here we are, we are out hiking on our own, no doggy, this time. And this is the first time I've ever gone hiking on my own. This is so cool. Here's another little river over here. Another creek. So this could be very interesting how I go, trying to cross this river. Oh, 
How cool is that? The weather's actually not too bad to go for a walk today. I find that around 12 degrees. I'm sorry people who do Fahrenheit, whatever 12 degrees Celsius is, is actually pretty decent weather to go for a walk because you get warm from your walk and uh, the cooler weather's actually not too bad. There seems to be a lot of like, I'm assuming it's jasmine. I'll try to get a close up if I can. But there's some of it up there. And I think it has a really nice fragrance to it. Assuming it's jasmine, but I'm not sure. Here it is here. Here's this. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hmm. I'm trying to smell it. I'm not really sure if that's it that's making the smell, but there's a lot of it everywhere. It's like early August at the moment, and yesterday was actually the first day that I heard like birds chirping in the morning. Whenever I hear birds chirping in the morning, it's always a sign of spring. I know we have birds that chirp every now and then, but it's a particular type of morning, early morning chirp, where you know that spring kind of that spring weather is coming through. And you can smell it in the air as well, like the change in the seasons. It's winter at the moment here in Australia. August is the last month of winter. I'm so glad it's coming to an end. Winter here in Australia is not always the best. And like, even though other countries will actually get snow wherever they live, here in Australia, we're well known to not have proper insulation in our houses, so the cold really hits you a lot harder here. But I guess the other funny thing is that for at least one third of winter, I've been unemployed now, so I've actually been staying indoors, which has been pretty good. I haven't had to get up and, you know, go to work and get out there in the cold weather when I can just stay in bed. It's been great. <laughs> Interesting. I also really want to thank everyone who has subscribed to the channel recently. It was only like maybe a week and a half ago or two weeks ago that I had about 28 subscribers and now it's like over 50 and that's insane to me. I really appreciate any support that people show especially like commenting on videos I've had a few people ask for a few more tips and tricks on different things like in the dog vlogs and stuff like that and like you know I've really been enjoying just making these little walking videos and stuff and I just wanted to say thank you to any family and friends and um, people who I don't know across the world wherever you are I appreciate you and thank you for watching my my odd dog walking videos and whatever else I end up putting up on this channel. You can see some wattle trees. The trees with the yellow on them. I love wattle trees. Iconic Australian symbol right there. It's so peaceful here. What else did I want to talk about? Um, oh yeah, so next week I've got a different type of video coming out. I recorded a two and a half hour session with my friend and my sister playing Baldur's Gate. It's been about a year since Baldur Baldur's Gate came out, but I'm so happy that they both have it now and we're gonna try to play it a little bit more regularly. Though 
I did tell them that if we were to play for two to three hours each week until completion, we'd probably take a year and a half to get it done. So I don't really know what's going to happen with that. It is a very long game to play. But, you know, something different. I think we all enjoyed it. I'll be putting a few more of those up on the channel as well. You know, it's just, it's nice, funny stuff to look back on. And ultimately, that's what I want to make my channel about, is something that I can look back on at different times and reflect on just moments in time that I had. I often do a lot of reflecting and self-reflecting. And it's surprising to me how much stuff I forget as well. Like, I'll look back on a video from ages ago and I'll be like, I don't really remember thinking that way or feeling that way a whole lot. So it's certainly interesting to see progression as well. Also, FYI, if there's one thing that Minecraft has taught me, it's sense of direction. So I'm hoping I don't get lost in this place. So far it's been pretty simple, I guess, like just one track to follow along the river. So my bearing should be pretty spot on. You know, when I mentioned last week in one of my videos that I was going to do this challenge and originally go to Hanging Rock to do a hike on my own, I had a friend reach out to me and express to be a little bit careful, saying where my location is online and things like that. And like, I totally get her point of view. Um, I understand that there are some dangers with saying that sort of stuff. At the time, I only had the 28 subscribers, so for me it was just kind of like, by the time anyone even sees the video, it would have been probably a long time ago. But you never know. I guess the other thing that's quite interesting is people's perspectives on what they would consider dangerous. I mean, this is a place that I've never been to before. Hanging Rock, I went to... Oh probably almost like eight years ago, seven and a half years ago. So I can barely remember that place, but I know it's got a cafe and it's relatively, well, family friendly. I was gonna say safe, but then my friend mentioned something about a movie of Hanging Rock. She's only seen the movie. And I was thinking like, what, what movie? I've not seen no movie. Anyway, I looked it up and uh, yeah, there's a, there's a movie about Hanging Rock and about how a bunch of girls all went missing. I was like, oh yeah, cool. <laughs> Here I am, one girl walking through, hiking and all of this sort of stuff and thinking I'll be okay, but then a bunch of girls go missing. So you really never know. I thought uh, it would have actually been cool to like, look at the, the history behind all of that and talk about that. But yeah, then I saw that $10 fee and I was like, hell nah. Hell no, we want a free hike. Oh my gosh, I'm like on the side. I don't know if you can see this right now, but I'm on the side of a cliff. Ooh, how cool is that? There's the wattle tree. I love them so much. How cool is this? Walking on the side of a mountain? What? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should point the camera more down or up or what. Wow. So yeah, I've come, it's a Thursday morning, taking advantage of that unemployed life. Oh my gosh. And yeah, it's a pretty nice morning for this kind of thing. Oh, also, I kind of wanted to, like, I don't know much about it, but, like, I kind of wanted to touch on this whole man versus bear thing when walking around. Like, what's the go with that? Is it really that often that people come across, like, dudes walking around as well? And they, and like women just get creeped out by dudes just existing or are dudes actually like purposely making women feel uncomfortable there's a lot of poop on this trail i mean i don't really go out walking like this sort of thing that often but like even if i saw a dude on the trail 
and I don't know if it's just me, I'd be like acknowledging that he's there and probably say hello. But like I'm not gonna stress about it. Like I don't I don't really fully understand that whole fearfulness of oh, can I'm doing? Ooh. I guess I don't really have that fearfulness of like potentially bumping into a dude. Like obviously if the guy started being overly friendly and like it's borderline starting to bother you and not really like let you move on then of course like that's uncomfortable and that's creepy but a dude's like doing that all the time like I've just not personally experienced it and I don't think dudes should necessarily be judged because they're a dude either I don't know I think you can be judged if you're being creepy but not judged for just being a dude walking on a trail and just saying hello or giving someone a smile. Some people, I don't know, they probably aren't very good socially and so they're just trying to smile to be polite but it comes across as a little weird. But as long as they leave you alone, I mean, there's no real harm in it. All I'm saying is I'm glad we don't have bears in Australia and I'd rather bump into a dude in the forest as long as he's not um, creepy. But I think people just probably need to have a bit more of a... I hope I'm going the right way. I think people just need to have a bit more of a... Well, I don't want to say trust because like you really don't know out there. And like, I've got my own experiences and, and that's why I've got my own thoughts on this sort of stuff. But, you know, other people have experienced very differently to me and well, their situations have been the total opposite where they've had horrible experiences with dudes. So they're not as trusting anymore. All right, I'm walking. I don't even know if this is a trail or, I think the main trail is kind of up there and I'm kind of like going off the beaten path. But, oh well, that's what we're here for. Actually, now that I think about it, does having the camera with me count as me being on my own? I mean, I still am on my own, but I'm like talking. I'm talking, well, externally I'm talking to myself, but like I'm talking to you as well. <laughs> so it's almost kind of like I'm not alone because you're here with me. I don't know it's like psychologically I'm not alone but like I am alone if that makes sense this is very interesting to me right now what's going on some like very weird looking mushroom amazing I don't really know how long this trail goes for. It's actually been pretty good. Cause I'm not like the fittest person and it's been relatively flat, which has been great for me. I love that. Ooh, this looks very purposeful. I'm doing my uh, Daryl Dixon investigation skills and I can tell someone made a fire there. go let's continue for oh my sock keeps coming out of my shoe or it keeps rolling down my shoe wow the water's actually pretty clear here like i can see the bottom all right time to try to find the main path again 
we're heading back up into the dense bush. Will I die? Find out next episode. If I live. Holy shit. I'm looking and I see a lot of bush and I don't know how well that's going to go. So I'm going to turn back and just keep following the river. We'll keep following the river, the creek, the stream, whatever it's called. Ha. Huh. I'm pretty sure this shouldn't be the end of the trail. Here we go. I'm going to do adventurous shit and hope I don't break my ankle. Wish me luck. Oh, these are all dead branches, which using my Daryl Dixon investigation skills will likely mean that they will snap. Oh, here we go. I'll just follow the animal trails. The animals make trails all around the bush. Here we go. Um, hopefully one of them don't bite my ankles. Here we go, we have found the path. It's actually so much better to be back on the trail. I walked through some type of bush before and now my leg is a bit itchy so this might be nothing or it could be something, I don't know. I always get suspicious of those weed looking plants that have like bumpy bits on them because I'm pretty sure someone told me once like if you touch them on your skin they can make you itchy and it can irritate you. Oh, who knows, I'm probably going to go into shock right now. But at least you're with me. Also, FYI, this was something else I kind of wanted to talk about considering we're, we're out in the woods. We're out in the woods together. Is like location apps on your phone. I see there's a lot of divide on this sort of topic where some people see it extremely creepy that, you know, your partner or your family have location apps with you to see where you are and then other people well pretty much like myself don't see it as like a big issue i would definitely say that when i was a lot younger in high school i was a bit like oh, i don't want my mom to see where i am i don't want i don't want her knowing where i am and all of this sort of stuff but as i got a bit older that sort of those thoughts just I don't know, they just disappeared and I couldn't care less. And we've actually had some really funny conversations about where we are and all of this sort of stuff. And it sort of made me realize that if you've got a healthy relationship with your family or whoever you're sharing the location app with, and there's humor in it as well, like it's not just to stalk or to be an annoyance or to have control over you. Like all of those things are really bad. But if you've got a good relationship with the person you're sharing with and they don't take it like seriously or to heart, it's just more as a, just a FYI, like this is where I am kind of thing. Especially today, like with me being on my own. It's like your guardian angel. Even though they're not physically with you, if something did happen, which is very low chance, I know I've got people who can come look for me and they'll have an idea of where I am. It's like my sister. My sister was in a pretty bad car accident at one point and she was quite shaken up by it, as you could imagine. And we had her on, I mean, our, the app that we use is called Life360. We could see exactly where she was. Um, her partner at the time, I don't think he had the app. So we were able to tell him where to go because he was a lot closer to her location than we were. And I think having things like that, it's a nice extra thing to have. Because my mum, she lives in New South Wales and I'm in Victoria. And sometimes she'll come down to Melbourne and I'll see her driving around and I'll tell her I'm watching her like the Uber man. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm doing. I see her coming close to my place to come visit. And it's like watching the Uber Eats man. And it's kind of funny. Ooh, this rock is wonky. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, that's moving. Oh my god, oh my god. Ah! I'm standing in the water. Oh my gosh, where do I even go from here? My strategy is to put a bit of weight on it and move it a bit. See how wonky it is. Oh, that, okay. That one's wonky. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! I must say, if I had to run away from a criminal right now, someone who's trying to murder me, I would 100% fall in the water right now. Ooh. We did it. How cool is that? How cool. That is so awesome. I've not seen anyone. Who knows, maybe something happens to them. Oh my gosh, look at this tree. How, like that stands out so much. I think it's a type of eucalyptus, if I'm not wrong. Wow. It wasn't that long ago that I actually learned that there's like, I think several hundred of, several hundred types of eucalyptus trees. How crazy is that? Here's another one. Oh, and there's some uh, orange mushrooms there too. Holy shit, I don't know if you can see that, but that's the stairway to hell. I think we might just go this way. We'll loop back around and head back. Action shot. See that one's like in the water and it moves. That is not fun. You watch, like at the moment I was literally just sinking. My socks are not wet. My feet are nice and warm still, which is a good thing. But like you watch, as soon as I say that, I'll probably go face first into the into the water. I think we've got to take the thumbnail at some point. I don't know what I'm going to do for that though. Out in the woods. No, but I don't know how to set up the camera. That's all. Like I could place it on something and pose I guess. But I don't know how to do this YouTube thing. I'm only learning. People think about all this shit in advance and I'm just like... I mean I try to think about stuff but... I don't know, I'm just kind of winging things at the moment. Huge sides of the rock. So you know what, I don't need to untighten it. I can just take it out of the case. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh. There we go. Get it out. Cool. Freestyling it. Hands. Ooh. What do I do? Do I just like sit the camera here or something and... Is that any good? I don't know. Let's investigate. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. Someone used it as a toilet. Wildlife. That is so cool. Little birdies. <laughs> 